In part one of this lesson, we focused on question formation. Now we'll turn our attention to negative questions. This is a more advanced grammar topic. Are you ready for the challenge? Let's begin. Isn't that a lovely sound? I think so. The question that I just asked used a negative verb. Isn't that a lovely sound? This kind of question is called a negative question. Let's take a moment and talk about how we form and how we use negative questions. A negative question is a type of yes-no question. So if I ask, isn't it lovely? The answer, the reply, could be, and probably is, yes, it is. I don't think you would disagree with me about the lovely sound of the chimes, but if you did, you could say no. No, it isn't. <laughs> Okay, so because it's a negative question, or because it is a question, we're using question word order. We have our verb, and then our subject. Question word order. The verb is usually a contraction. If it's not a contraction, it sounds more formal. Is it not lovely? It's correct, but sounds formal. In everyday English, negative questions use the contraction. Isn't, couldn't, can't, won't. Okay. Why do we use negative questions? Well, I've already given you an example. As we listen to the chimes of the clock, I say, Isn't it lovely? I'm just commenting. I don't really expect an answer, but you could give me one. We use negative questions to comment when we feel emotions like surprise, anger, delight, shock, something strong enough to make us comment. And we ask the question, not really expecting a reply, because we assume that you're feeling the same way. Let me give you a second example. I'm going to show you this key and put it there. Now I'm looking for the key, and I don't know where it is. Do you? You think you know where I put it. Maybe you're not certain exactly, so you ask. Jennifer, didn't you put it behind the board? Oh yes, I did. Thank you. So you believe this information to be true, but you're not exactly certain. You ask me to confirm. I find the key. I confirm. You're right. Yes, I did. I did put it behind the board. Let's review what we've learned. We begin a negative yes-no question with a negative form of be or a negative form of a helping verb. This verb form is usually contracted. We use a negative question to ask for confirmation or comment. Or we can also use a negative question to make a polite invitation. For example, won't you please join us? It's time for another exercise. Exercise 2. Use the answer to help you form a negative question. 1. Look at the answer to form the negative question. The words in orange give you a clue. The question 
Don't you think it's confusing when the time changes? Now listen and you'll hear this question used in conversation. Don't you think it's confusing when the time changes? Yes, I do. It takes a while to get used to the new time. Yeah. Two. Again, use the answer and those words in orange in particular to help you form the question. The question. Isn't it hard to remember to change the clocks? Listen, and you'll hear this question used in conversation. Isn't it confusing to remember to change all the clocks in our home? Yeah, didn't we just talk about that? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Three. Again, use the answer, and especially those words in orange, to help you form the negative question. The question, haven't some people protested against daylight saving time? Now listen and you'll hear this question used in conversation. Haven't some people protested against uh, daylight saving time? Protested? Yeah, I think they have. Why, do you want to join them? Yes, I do. <laughs> Final check. Correct the mistakes. 1. Read the question and then correct the mistake. 2. mistake is here. We need the base form of the verb. The helping verb did already marks the past tense. So the correct question is, did daylight saving time already begin in your country? 2. Find the mistake and correct it. 3. The mistake is with the word order. We need question word order, so we need verb plus subject. The correct question is, whose watch is this? 3. Correct the mistake. 4. The mistake is with agreement. We do need a helping verb, but does is not the correct form. Our subject is all countries, third person plural. The helping verb we need is do. The correct question is, do all countries have daylight saving time? 4. Correct the mistake. The mistake is with the question word. Our question word is the subject of this question but whom can only be an object. The correct question is, who created daylight saving time? 5. Correct the mistake. The mistake is with the word order. This has statement word order. We need question word order. Verb plus subject. The correct question is, is it difficult for you to adjust to the time change? 6. Correct the mistake. This question is missing a helping verb. The question should read, which U.S. states do not observe daylight saving time? 7. Correct the mistake. This is a negative question, so we need to begin with a negative verb, but we don't need not two times. 
we don't have double negatives in English. So the correct question is, won't we be setting our clocks back this weekend? That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.